Perry, and we are the co-founders of A Natural Shift. We come to you at this time every week to share some healthy living tips. And we really like to take questions that we get frequently and address those uh, in just a little uh, mini class, so to speak. So uh, we'll you know, keep it kind of short so that we can get to the point and uh, you get the information that you need. If there is a specific topic that you'd like for us to cover, we'd love to hear from you because that's what we're here for. Um, so please put that in the comments or um, there is also a uh, Q&A uh, section that they can post in. Right, Carrie? Yes, we're going to post the link in just a few minutes. OK, awesome. So today our topic and a question that we get often is I travel when I work, how can I eat healthy on the go? Or even if it's not for work, how about I just travel a lot? How can I eat healthy? Because let me tell you guys, we went on a week trip. I really don't like to be gone from my house <laughs> for that long. And I, it was so much fun and it was great, but the food part gets me every time because it, you're naturally going to have to eat out some and I just don't feel as good. It just shows me what foods that my body's not used to, what they actually do to them. So if you can kind of prepare, it's really all about preparation and planning and just thinking ahead in terms of, um, you know, where you're going to be, what your options are going to be and just uh, setting yourself up for success. Those are the, the main uh, things. Now, one more thing before I dive right in with some tips that I did want to mention. We are super excited. Uh, our new website is going to launch and be live uh, next by next Wednesday. So we'll kind of give another reminder on that when we um, go live at the same time next Wednesday. But we're really excited. I, I believe um, it's much more user friendly. Um, it'll still have all of our recipes. All of our videos will be linked on there things that we've done on Facebook Live and also classes um, that we've done even over Zoom. Those will be linked um, on the website. So it'll kind of be a bank where you can go and kind of get all that information. Did you want to say something? No, I was just saying, yes, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a great place for you to come and see what all we offer as well. And we're going to have a calendar. So if you want to see like what things are we doing online and what things are we doing? Maybe you live in this area. So we're going to have all of that on there for you. It's just going to be a, a great and a better way to connect just um, us to be able to connect with you and you to us. So I'm excited about it. <laughs> yes. Super excited. Okay. So let's dive right in. Um, my number one tip probably is just take food with you wherever you go. Okay. <laughs> I've mentioned this before. I might have a little bit of a scarcity mindset around food. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I, mean, I always think, what if I get somewhere and I'm hungry? What am I going to do? Because I know we know what will happen. You'll end up making a bad choice because you won't have another option, right? So this goes all back to set yourself up for success. So I always take food with me wherever I go. And don't be ashamed. I take food in restaurants sometimes. My family's eating there. I'll just take my own food. I, I, would, I would scratch the sometimes and put all the time. <laughs> and and nobody really cares. I mean, I remember the first time that I did it, and people still now will say to me sometimes, you take your own food into the restaurant? And I'm like, those people don't care. All the other people are buying food. What do they care if I bring my own? You know. <laughs> so that's just a personal choice. But don't feel bad about it. Nobody else really cares what you're doing anyway, you know, so um, they're not. Um, so take food with you. And Carrie's going to talk um, in a few minutes about some ways to carry your food with you and that type thing. But I want to really focus on kind of um, different meals, like, you know, what you might struggle with, whether it's breakfast, lunch, snacks, that type of thing. But number one, always have your water with you. Always, always, always. So get yourself some type of container. Uh -huh. Never go anywhere without it because otherwise you might be tempted to stop and get like a soda or something like that. Or you um, just get really dehydrated too. Like if you're traveling and you don't, if I don't have it right there, I don't, I mean, I just don't drink as much water as I normally would. And it's so funny that like now my kids know that I have water everywhere. So they're always. They just always assume, like they asked me one day, I was like, I left my water bottle at home. What? You don't have water? <laughs> you know, it's just funny. They always expect me to have it. So it's just, it's yeah. just a habit. You know, I just got into a habit a while ago. And so now I don't go anywhere without it. 
Yes, exactly. Same here. And as your kids get older, mine now take their water bottles with them. Yeah. And, and sometimes it requires a little bit of reminding from me. But if we're about to get in the car, I'm like, you, do you have your water bottles? And, if you know, sometimes they'll remember, sometimes they won't. But then they'll go get them because otherwise they'll drink all mine. So yeah. <laughs> like, bring your own. <laughs> so, um, OK, so keep your water with you. Keep your essential oils to use in your water, because, again, it's promoting hydration. Um, drinking your citrus oils is giving you that daily detox to help get rid of those toxins that build up in our body and leave us feeling tired and sluggish. Now, if breakfast is something that you're needing to grab, um, you know, as you're out the door every morning, then you want to make as healthy of a choice as possible. So let me give you some kind of ideas on um, maybe some some breakfast options. So first, make some overnight oats. It takes two seconds, y'all. Get a mason jar, um, put you some oats in it, some almond milk. You could even do water if you wanted to. You wouldn't even have to use a milk. Um, or you could do regular cow's milk if that's what you wanted. Uh, and then all you do is you add a little bit of sweetness, like maple syrup, honey, um, add yourself a little bit of cinnamon, and then some fruits and nuts. You know, things like apples are great. Um, you could put berries in in the morning. But basically, when you leave that sitting in your refrigerator overnight, the oats just expand and, you know, the liquid gets um, incorporated into them and they expand. And then you're ready to go. You just grab it out of the fridge with a spoon and head out the door. So that's super simple. I'm going to raise my hand so I don't interrupt you. Um, another great option, to, this is something similar to that, is um, chia seed pudding. So sometimes I don't like to eat oats in the mornings because they sit on my stomach. They kind of make me feel a little bit blah sometimes. I don't know if you have that problem. If you do, chia seed pudding is another great idea. It has a lot of the healthy like fats and, and protein and fiber, but um, it doesn't leave you feeling quite as full. Yeah, great point. Mm -hmm. um, the next kind of idea that I, that I will do sometimes is uh, boil a, you know, a bunch of eggs like earlier in the week and then take a couple of boiled eggs. I mean, maybe that's all you have time for. You could just grab those and take them with you because remember breakfast is super important because you really want to get your metabolism going. You want to get some good healthy fat and protein so that you will stay fuller and you're not getting hungry so much throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, you could make, uh, we have a, a really great recipe on the website for a frittata. It's actually kind of a use up for leftover veggies. You could make that in advance, cut it into pieces and then grab that as you head out the door. Um, I love to make muffins and keep them even in the freezer and then just pop those out and defrost them um, and just head out the door. So we have a great blueberry muffin recipe, um, banana muffin. Um, there's several muffin recipes on our website. So check those out. Those are really great. So good. Like they just taste exactly like if you've never um, frozen things like that. They really do so well in the freezer. So. Make, make a double batch. Anytime I make muffins or banana bread, lots of times I'll just make two batches. It's so easy to just make double. Yeah, it takes, like you said, no time at all. So those are just some, some really quick breakfast options. Now let's talk about lunch when you travel, because this is, I do get this question a lot. Well, I mean, I, I'm traveling the whole day, so maybe I could take my breakfast with me, but lunch, I mean, there's there's nothing that I can do. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you asked the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, you asked the wrong person because I take everything with me. Don't forget. I don't let you have an excuse anymore. Can't have an excuse once you know, right? <laughs> That's right. Exactly. You know, knowledge is power, but you got to put it into action, right? So you get to know these things, but you got to really act on them. So for lunch, the things that I love to take with me, Salad, of course, is my favorite. Um, and just for kind of um, time purposes and just to make the most of your time, I like to make my salads while I'm making dinner or getting dinner ready the night before. Often we do have a salad at dinner, too. It's like my favorite green to eat because it's so easy and it just tastes good. So I have all the stuff out. Why not just throw everything in and make myself a salad for the next day? And then I'm done. All I have to do is grab it um, and take it with me. The other thing that I think that people don't know, and I think maybe Carrie didn't, I don't remember if you knew this or not, but we just did this. So <laughs> what if you have leftovers and you take your leftovers, um, did you know that most all convenience stores have a microwave in them? Go into the convenience store. I was, and I was like, what? Really? Never thought about it. I always say that it's cold normally. 
Yeah. And so, so you can't have a hot lunch. So Carrie and I were um, traveling um, together, I don't know, a month or so ago and we we're going to be traveling at night. And so I brought us, um, a, I had made a, a couple salads for us and some soup and I had taken the soup in Mason jars and she was like, what are we going to do with this? I'm like, Oh, we're going to stop at a convenience store and eat it up. She was like, what? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's all I ever do. I just go in fine. You know, listen, I literally got in her house and she was like, oh, I got to get the cooler loaded up. Like she unloaded half of her fridge in the cooler. <laughs> so we ate dinner, breakfast. I think breakfast the next morning off everything she had in that cooler. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like just, it's just, you know, it's it's strange, strange, you know? one step ahead, just, just think ahead, you know, and it's super easy. Once you get in the habit, you won't even have to think about it anymore. That's the thing. It's right. just creating these daily habits and then it just becomes easy and it really leads to massive change over time. Mm -hmm. So, um, the other thing that, uh, is great to take with you in a Mason jar. So I mentioned soup, uh, because if you make a big pot of soup and you keep it in the freezer and in individual, um, containers like i said i love mason jars then um it's just you pull it out that's all you do so super simple and easy the other thing that i love to make and keep in mason jars are smoothies so you can make a smoothie ahead of time freeze it and then even if you didn't take like a cooler or something with you you take it with you for lunch it stays cold and is defrosted by lunch and just have your smoothie at lunch i mean how simple is that if you put some greens into it some protein some healthy fat I mean, that's really a complete meal right there. You could just totally have that, you know, for lunch. Um, now, in terms of uh, snacks and things, some of my favorite snacks to have are nuts. I always have nuts, healthy fat, healthy fiber, um, protein. So I always have nuts on hand. I always um, have a bar option. So there are some bars that are not super healthy for you, but just as an option, um, I like RX bars. Those, um, you can find those now at Kroger. Used to, you could only buy them online. Now um, they have all those there now, uh, all the different flavors, and they're really good. So maybe have something like that that will at least avoid you stopping at a gas station or something if you get really hungry. You've got to have those options. You can throw those into your purse and just keep them there. I like to make my own trail mix too, you know, just some simple nuts, raisins, maybe even some chocolate chips if you want. That's great for the kids. Take snacks along for your kids because what's going to happen when you get in the car? Yes. I'm hungry <laughs> right when you step foot in the car. <laughs> like literally you ask 30 minutes before, hey, we're going to be going such and such. Anybody need anything to eat? You hungry? No, no, we're good. <laughs> it's like all over with. <laughs> all the time. So, yeah. So those are... Um, Probably my favorite snacks. Now, if you do um, happen to take a cooler with you, they make um, some really good uh, guacamole in um, just little individual containers. I think it's Holy Guacamole is, is the brand that, that we like to use. And then you just, um, you know, take you so, some veggies to dip in that or some chips or something like that. That would be another really great healthy snack or maybe in addition to your lunch based on what you're having. Um, so now I think Carrie is going to give us some of her favorite tips. Um, yeah, yeah these, these have been great. Um, I just love the way that she does things maybe a little bit different than I do. And, you know, and I have to remind myself, I don't travel as much as she does. Like, cause I think, why can't I think about all this stuff? So Julie is like expert traveler. She's, you know, travels with her kids all the time to ball tournaments and, um, you know, wh wherever it might be, she just is well versed in that. So I learned so much from her all the time. Those are awesome tips. One thing about bars that I wanted to mention is that sometimes, you know, if you were to go and look at some of these bars, you're like, I'm not paying three dollars a bar or two dollars a bar. But you have to realize you're going to pay. I mean, if you, if you if if I can pay more for something like that to have convenience and I don't go to a drive-in or get some the convenience store, it is well worth the two or three dollars that you pay per bar because that bar is going to keep you full for a while if you get a quality one. So just think about that, you know, when you're thinking about, well, gosh, this seems kind of expensive for a snack, but really in the whole grand scheme of things, you probably end up paying way more if you went to the convenience store and got something like that. So just wanted to mention that because some of those bars that are higher quality are more expensive. <clears throat> so my number one tip for, um, you know, you're out and you're traveling and you have this mindset of, I just can't do this. You know, I just can't make this work. You got to switch that. 
you just got to be like, yeah, I'm going to make this work no matter what. And I promise there is always a way to, to take food where you go, you know, but you just you do have to prep in advance. And Julie's already mentioned that. So I would just really encourage you to not really make it like, well, if this works out, I'll do that. Or maybe this will work out. You know, you really just have to say this is what I'm eating and stick to it, because sometimes Maybe we don't feel like eating that salad we have over there and we drive past the restaurant and gosh, that sounds good. You just have to make it like you just you have blinders on, right? <laughs> but really, what? Well, yeah. <laughs> this is the best way to communicate. Raise my hand. It, <laughs> <grade> school. <laughs> um, what I wanted to say about that was what I what has helped me over time. And this is just like you said, it's all a mindset and it's about shifting your mindset, um, you know, over time, taking these steps. But just to give you an example, the uh, office that I work in, we used to always have um, reps, uh, drug reps would come in and they would bring some kind of treat. It would be cookies, donuts, cake, whatever. And, you know, 10 years ago, I would go in and be like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to have me a treat today, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I began to realize that after I would connect the feeling with after I ate that, I would have complete brain fog just feel oh terrible mm -hmm. and i remember the day that i did that like the very last day that i ever did that literally i remember i had eaten like this big piece of cake and afterwards that's how i felt and i thought you know what from this point moving on i'm not doing that again like ever i remember how bad this made me feel yeah. and so i think that if you connect and you know yeah that that might look good it you know or if you're somewhere that smells good but you know what I prepared, I brought my healthy stuff and I'm going to stick with it because I know that that smells and looks way better than it's going to make me feel afterwards. So yeah. I think just remembering those things. But, you know, it is a process. So, you are you know, you're going to have good intentions and you're maybe you're going to slip up, uh, you know, and, and it's not going to work out the way. Don't give up. Just just keep on, you know, having that mindset that this is going to work. I'm going to make it work. Yes, maybe I didn't do exactly what I wanted to today, but tomorrow is going to be a new day and it's different. And, and also, one thing on that note that I was just about to say is, you know, if you're out and about and you see all these great restaurants and you're just like, I just want something different than what I have. You know, I, I felt like that a couple of times. And so now I always usually try to pack something that's like a little bit of a treat when I'm preparing my food to go, like a piece of dark chocolate or something sweet that you have, maybe just a little piece of it. Or make, or make your meal more special. Just add a special touch to it, something that's a little bit different than you would have at home. Just because that makes me excited. Like, I know that might sound, <laughs> my, you get excited over the really small things. But, I mean, just try to make it a little bit exciting just so you're ready to eat it. And you're excited to eat it and not like, oh, I have to eat this again. So just, just as something that's really helped me, um, you know, we, even when I'm at work and they might have something like Julie was mentioning or whether I'm out and traveling, just try to make whatever you have something that you genuinely do want to eat, not necessarily that you just threw in there. Now that will be the case sometimes, but that just goes all back to planning and prepping ahead. So now while you're out and about, Julie gave us some great tips. I just wanted to kind of hit on a few things. You know, maybe if you do travel a lot, invest in a nicer cooler, because if you do have to cool your food and, and you kind of have something that's not really working that well and you can't fit all your food in there, or you don't have nice ice packs or something like that, you know, just invest in some of those things, especially if you travel a lot. I noticed that when we traveled with Julie, she had a, I mean, it, she wouldn't say it's nice because it's beat up, but it was bigger and she had nicer ice packs. So I'm like, I need to get myself that. I don't have one of those coolers. It's not big enough. So a lot of times I can't fit my like salad container in there. And so I'm going to invest in one of those because I want to be prepared whenever I travel. So just something to think about there. Um, and the right containers are key. You know, you want to make sure that what you put down there is not going to leak everywhere. That's totally happened to me before. I think I spilled a whole smoothie on my lunch one day. I was super not happy about that. So I'm green everywhere. Um, maybe salad dressing is another thing that, you know, if you don't have the right container for that, it can get all over everything. So speaking of salad, um, I think that probably we both packed it enough to know a few tips on that. Julie gave me the best tip of all. If you buy one of those little, um, smaller salad, um, smaller things of containers of salad. And it's like just, a, you know, square rectangular or smaller. You can actually just use that and uh, to put your salad in. So if you're getting low on the lettuce, just put your salad in there and um, rubber band that together to make sure it stays together. And you can also just include your dressing in that. 
So I think Julie buys these little takeout um, small plastic containers like you would get at a restaurant that you can just throw away. I have, I've never bought any of those. I have some little containers that are like plastic and they're, they're a little bit bigger than what she buys, but whatever you get, just make sure that it's like it seals or either you put it in the container with your salad so that it doesn't spill out everywhere. Cause I've had that happen so many times and that's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. So um, I wanted to say one more thing about that. If you don't, um, you know, always have one of those containers, but you don't want to bring home dishes to wash or put in the dishwasher. Another tip is to just get a, like a gallon um, Ziploc bag throw all of your salad into that and you can actually like when you open it roll down the top and then when you sit it it makes it just like a container that you can eat out of like just a little you so you know. smart <laughs> oh, no it's just it's just practice you know it's just like yeah. like I, sometimes i'll be somewhere and i'm like oh my gosh i could totally use this for the <laughs> and that's like i'm so excited when that happens like the light bulb is excited over really um, one more thing in terms of if you didn't necessarily have a cooler or you didn't want to invest in a bigger cooler um, throughout the day, especially if you're traveling, you're going to want to be drinking, you know, more than this amount of water. So um, I would take some uh, just water bottles, freeze those and then put, yeah. uh, you know, your whatever, your salad or whatever in with those. And then that's going to keep that cold. And then, of course, you're going to have the water later and it's going to be cold once it kind of. Um, that's a great tip. Yeah. Often I don't think about that when I'm traveling and I'm like, I'm out of water. What am I going to do? I'm not stopping. <laughs> so it's like avoid, avoid um, convenience stores at all costs. Obviously, yeah. that's our water, but it, it would be cheaper to bring your own. And you could do, as Julie said. So all great tips. I hope that you've learned a little bit, you know, a tip or two to use. Maybe you're already in this mindset and, and you just kind of you upgraded your travel <laughs> um, repertoire of, of how to bring food on the road. But I think it really does just go back to mindset. And also, you know, don't don't feel like you're weird if you bring your food and, and maybe your, your family stopping to eat. You don't always have to eat everything they eat. No, I don't like to always eat stuff that's different. But, you know, if somebody if somebody looks at you because you brought your own food, you know, I mean, that that's fine. It's not a big deal. You know that you're doing the best um, for yourself and that you're making the best choice. And also, you just want to feel good. When you start having days where you feel awesome and then you go back and do something like Julie was talking about, eating something that makes you feel just terrible, you know, you realize, well, I don't want to feel like this. This really kind of made my day go down to the dump. So you kind of have to just, just be aware of those things. Be aware of how you feel after you eat out. And just think, well, gosh, I would feel so much better if I brought my own food. I think it really starts with that. And just knowing that I need to make a change. I need to eat better and using some of these tips and just just start small. Right. Just, you know, do what you can when you can and just always upgrade. So there are a few last things that I wanted to mention before we hop off. Um, we are going to actually have a class on our brand page next Tuesday night at 830. We are going to be going over how to make healthy living simple. Um, just a great class to kind of learn about what really what we're all about. So tune into that if you're curious. Um, we talk a little bit about our wellness planning service, which is something that we're super excited to be offering. Seeing some great results with the um, clients that we already have right now. And it's just a blast. Like it really is awesome to work with people one on one and really dive in deep to how they can just um, be a healthier version of their self. And it's, it's really been very fulfilling so far. So I know we're both excited about that. And um, don't forget about our website. We're going to um, direct you over there if you want to kind of learn more about us. It's going to be live next Wednesday, and um, we're excited to get going with that. And if you have any questions about um, wellness planning or what that might look like for you, please feel free to um, comment below. And we'll message you or just private message us, and we'll get back to you and give you some more information. So we hope you guys have a great Wednesday afternoon, and we will see you next week. Bye, everyone.